welcome all of you and thank you all for coming tonight and thank you very much for being part of this society. Um, I'm Kathleen Margiata, I am the current president of the board um, and I just wanted to make a few introductions here um, from other board members that are here. We have Carol Ann McBride, Mike Ryer, who else do I see? Steve, right behind you. Steve is behind me, Steve Weinerman. Yep, we're Bob Albert, we're in the back, we're oh, and Gail Wurzel, and Mary, and Mary Hager. Um, so, and I also wanted to recognize the fact that two other um, board members, past board members, are here with us tonight, which is very special. Um, and I think it's a really good reflection on the society and the work. I should take that off. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that what the society does here, that we still have connections with people, you know, people still feel good about being here and, and being involved. So we, um, we have my dear friend, I miss you so much. I miss this place. Bennett Greenberg, who was our treasurer, and he's, he's joined us back tonight with a hellacious ride with his wife down from New York. And we have Ed Engelbart. And his wife is here no, as well. Not wife. Yeah, right. Not wife? Oh, sorry. Friend. <laughs> no need to know. No need to know. So it's really great. And I know Ed, Ed is often uh, involved with activities here and, and supports us, and we really do appreciate it. I mean, I'm on the preservation board at the county level, and all I can say is you've gotten money from Mars County, and what Amy and what this organization has done is incredible. I mean, Absolutely you amazing. typify what we want to achieve as a preservation board in the county of Mars. And it's, it's incredible. Every time I come here, I see something new, something better. And it is wonderful to see what this group has done over the last number of years. And Thank Amy, you. all I can say is I'm glad Amy is on our board. Yeah. And she has contributed much to that board since she's been on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're talking about Amy giving some accolades. So let's hear from Amy Curry, our executive director. Thank you, everyone. Um, before I get started this evening, I would really like to thank um, our trio for joining us. Yes, they, they are, are in wonderful. the jazz program. Wow. Thing. Yeah. And it's amazing. Phenomenal. So thank you so much for providing the entertainment for us this evening. Um, so it's truly wonderful to see everyone here um, and joining us to share with us and celebrate Morris County Historical Society's 75th anniversary um, and our 75 years of accomplishments. It's also our 50th anniversary of um, our stewardship of Acorn Hall. Morris County Historical Society is, first and foremost, as Kathleen mentioned, a society an organization working together because of common interests, beliefs, or profession. So many times over the past decade, I've really been humbled by the extreme generosity, passion, and commitment of those within our society, and those who supported us from the local and not so local communities. This includes generations of dedicated men and women who've lent their talents and wisdom, time, and energy, helped strengthen our endowment, developed our programs, grow and steward our collections and archives, as well as those who've helped grow our organization to indeed one of the leading county level historical societies in New Jersey. These are individuals who continue to support us long after they've left New Jersey. Thank you, Bennett, Nance, <laughs> Pat, Ascalise, <laughs> and his wife. Um, long after their work here is done and we stand on their shoulders as we increasingly reach higher heights to surpass our once lofty goals it's quite an honor to stand here today and celebrate mchs was founded uh, by the lions club special meeting held at the morristown national historical park their museum auditorium tom ross is here with us today hi tom thank you we go way back <laughs> um so that was November 1945. Nearly 100 people gathered. Um, that was November 1945. These individuals had just witnessed an amazing amount of history take place before their very eyes, and they knew that there was something quite special going on. 
Um, at that meeting, there were the parents of Reverend Ken and James Elliott Lindsley. He was unable to make the meeting, that meeting, although he came to the meetings thereafter. He was here with his wife earlier. He's our one remaining charter member of the society, still with us after 75 years. Mm -hmm. As time marched forwards, collections and archives grew, membership grew, and our space at the county library started feeling incrementally smaller. As fate would have it, as so often, as so often does with us, <laughs> a local preservationist was taking note of our comings and goings, our growth and our increasing relevance, our actions. Mary Crane Hone inherited Acorn Hall in 1949. She is the great granddaughter of the first generation of owners. And the hall still much reflected the time and influence of her an ancestors. She knew it was special. Mary witnessed a lot of local development here in the 50s and the 60s, which was in direct contrast to her beloved Acorn Hall, which was where time had really stood still. In 1966, Estate Route 287's construction weighed heavily on the local area, threatening the Ford Mansion and taking every 19th century home between here and the 287 on-ramp, Acorn Hall was increasingly becoming one of the last vestiges of Morristown's mid-19th century semi-rural community. To ensure its long-term protection and preservation, and after seven years of, several years of planning, Mary, Mary formally transferred Acorn Hall and six of the original nine acres to MCHS in May 1971. The northernmost three acres <laughs> she, she donated to the Morris County Park Commission for the preservation of Jacob Ford Jr.'s powder mill along the Whippany River. At that time, the Home Garden Club of Morristown adopted us as their garden site, and they have been here every year since. Over the past 50 years, Morris County Historical Society staff and volunteers have treated thousands and thousands of visitors to the magic of Acorn Hall and the cultural history that once typified Morristown, like so many other communities throughout Morris County. In 2018, following more than seven years of grant-funded restoration, the building's exterior came to fully complement the interiors, providing visitors an authentic experience, bar none. In 2017, we started laying the grant-funded groundwork for the restoration of Acorn Hall's Carriage House, a project that once completed will afford the first public access into the building. So the building right now is open, before we were having to dodge the monsoon, but if you have time, please feel free to go over. There is a PowerPoint playing with photos of the restoration thus far. And MCHS now 75 years strong. We're a growing organization, building upon successes of our past. Our membership is the highest that it's ever been in the last two decades. We just completed a year-long conservation of a nationally significant local 19th century stained glass window to be unveiled later this fall. It's a collections object that will likely garner international interest and excitement, forever setting us apart. We are at the forefront in developing new scope for collecting and interpreting local built resources. In a field that focuses on the past, we're charging, char charting new territory towards future collections and programs. We are strengthening existing relationships and establishing new ones, developing new programs, using new technology, and illustrating daily an interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach to history and cultural interpretation. We are redefining what it means to be a historical society in the 21st century. In all of this, it's critically important that I recognize those who've helped make a difference and make this all possible, those who will help take us into the next 75 years. We celebrate our successes. We recognize that much of this would not be possible without their partnership. So our grantors who provided the funds, guidance, support, and encouragement to complete the restoration of Acorn Hall and its carriage house, and near $3.5 million project, as well as numerous additional projects, including the restoration of several significant collections objects, we thank Commissioner Director Shaw and the Morris County Board of County Commissioners and Ray Chang and the Morris County Historic Preservation Trust as well as all of the trust board members. Thanks to Ms. Dorothy Guzzo of the New Jersey Historic Trust, Ms. Dina Erickson of the New Jersey Cultural Trust. For our project and general operating support, I'd like to thank Mr. S. Dillard Kirby and the FM Kirby Foundation, Ms. Kathleen Campbell-Jackson and the Campbell Family Foundation, 
and Robert and Diana Wong Charitable Trust, as well as Miss Sarah Curitan and the New Jersey Historical Commission. They're all different. Yeah. They're all different. <laughs> wow. They're all different. I'd also like to thank a very special and dear friend of MCHS who recently underwrote the cost of both a standby generator and HVAC system for Acorn Hall. We are indeed indebted. We have one of the most incredible professional teams I could have ever hoped for. Many have been with us for decades and we're grateful for their years of service, friendship, and institutional memory and support. Please forgive me as I read this list, but you'll get a chance to understand how long some of these people have been with us. Our insurance agent, Gary Borman, yeah. since at least 1984. <laughs> Our accountant, Jeff German, Victor Misano, and Kelly McBride of German Vreeland and Associates since 1988. Our historic preservation architect, Ms. Margaret Hickey does not like when I say this, but she has been with us since 1996. <laughs> um, and our bookkeeper, Ms. Barbara Peck, since 1995. Our plumber, Brian Keefe, always good to have a plumber, <laughs> since 1999. Our IT guru, Steve Palazuski, since 2014, and still with us after relocating to a new state. Um, and our appraiser, Lynn Magnuson, of the Magnuson Group, since 2015. And our volunteers who have joy joyfully donated years and years of time, effort, and energy to our organization and our successes. Thanks especially to Nancy Cooper since 1987, Liz Pierce since 1994, Ron Ulay since 2002, Stephanie Damiano since 2005. Among, all among, among our volunteers include a Home Garden Club members who also, like I mentioned, celebrate 50 years of working with our organization. Lastly, to my incredible staff, <laughs> oh, who literally move mountains for this organization, and that's staff past and present. <laughs> uh, my curator, Ann Motto, uh, membership and volunteer coordinator, Patricia Goodfriend, facilities manager, Gary Rince, research assistant, Aaron Fife, curator assistant, Noel Garibo, and publicity coordinator, Sally, Sally Capone, Nicole Rizzuto, thank you very much for your years and years and years also. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for celebrating these milestones um, with us and lending your support as we continue to preserve and promote Morris County's rich and diverse history for generations to come. Bravo. I would also like to recognize Ms. Kelly Doucette, who is here with us today from Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill's office. Thank you. And I'm, this, uh, the congressman apologizes she couldn't be here. She's in Washington uh, tonight, I think actually right now on the house of the floor. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Um, but on this very special milestone, she um, wanted me to present you with a flag that's been flown over the Capitol um, in honor of the Morris County Historical Society. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do get a moment to run over the carriage house, please help yourself. Do it is a, a work in process, so uh, mind your step. The the contractors were here today. They did tell me that they vacuumed. <laughs> so <laughs> I said thank you. <laughs> um, so yes, please and also help yourself. I'm sure there is more food. Um, and I would like to turn it back to our trio. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.